Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, a renewing system that is designed divinely to heal itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the right side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my website brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks for spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, and I can help you build your business as well. We can do three-way phone calls, or I can even come out and do presentations for you. Call out the Brightside Ben phone team at 8 if you want more information, 866-735-2470, or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with aging skin or you want to prevent aging skin, if you have acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, if you're skin is thinning as you're aging, you want to use vitamin C and vitamin A, and that's what we have in all our Truth Skin Health products. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, surfactants, emulsifiers, propylene, glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side once again. One of the most important aspects of this program is the dismantling of bad ideas, dismantling of wrong ideas that are given to us by our culture. We're born into these bad ideas. Mostly these bad ideas come through advertising, word of mouth, they're spread via talking heads and so-called authorities that are either themselves part of the scams and part of the bad ideas and part of the bad beliefs, or they have bought into these bad ideas the same way that every Everyone else has. I was talking to an esthetician early this morning. I love estheticians. They're mostly dedicated to helping you have beautiful skin. Everybody who's interested in having really beautiful skin should have an esthetician that they trust. So I was talking to a gal this morning, an esthetician, about my True Skin Health products, which are all about, as I say, vitamin C and vitamin A and our, our transdermal delivery matrix. And she asked me about sensitive skin and oily skin. And when I told her what I thought, I gave her my take on sensitive skin and oily skin, which you guys know all. You guys know. If you've been listening to this program, you know where I come from when I'm talking about when it comes to sensitive skin and oily skin. It's all about the blood and cortisol and the digestive system. 
Anyway, so I gave her my take on these uh, on sensitive uh, sensitive skin and oily skin, and I there was silence on the other side. I could tell that she was kind of the gears were turning in her brain on the other side because I told her that all skin is the same, whether you have sensitive skin or oily skin or dry skin or acne skin or aging skin. In terms of the cells, in terms of the tissue, in terms of the collagen and the connective tissue and the hyaluronic acid and the vascularity, it's all the same skin and it doesn't matter whether your skin is sensitive or whether it's oily or whether it's dry. The skin cells are all keratinocytes. They're all the same. They're all fibroblasts. They're the same. The collagen's the same. And it doesn't matter whether it's on your big toe or on your forehead or on your butt or on your back or on your hand. And it doesn't matter whether you're making lots of oil or not making enough oil. The cells are the same. No matter where they are in the body, no matter what the condition is, the skin cells are the same. They all need the same things. They all need vitamin C, whether it's on your foot or on your butt or on your face. It all needs vitamin C. All the cells need vitamin C, and they need vitamin A. And if you have oily skin, your skin cells still need vitamin C and vitamin A. And if you have sensitive skin, your skin cells still need vitamin C and vitamin A. An effective skin care treatment, if it's an effective product, it can be used on any skin type. If it's, a, if it's going to be aggressive and your skin is super sensitive, well then maybe you want to be a little bit less aggressive. But whether you have sensitive skin or whether you have dry skin or whether your skin is on your back or your face or wherever, it still needs vitamin C and vitamin A. If you watch TV or listen to the radio or read magazines, you're going to he hear Cindy Crawford and Jessica Alba and Dr. Savak talking about melon extracts and eye creams and creams for your crepey skin and special treatments for oily skin and for acne. These are just bad ideas, folks. We got these cultural beliefs about our health that are injected into our brains via marketing memes. Have you ever heard of this thing called a chemical imbalance in your brain? There's no such thing as a chemical imbalance, despite the fact that according to an online poll conducted in 2007 by anxietycentral.com, I love that name, anxietycentral.com, 71.5% of respondents said that their doctor told them that their disorder was caused by chemical imbalance in the brain. The legend of the chemical imbalance. It's a marketing scam. It's an advertising scam perpetuated by drug companies selling drugs. How about the big breakfast? Everybody knows, you gotta eat breakfast. You gotta, uh, gotta eat a big breakfast. That was an advertising campaign initiated by a bacon company. Back in the 1920s, the Beechwood Packing Company, the father of public relations, Edward Bernays, to, to start a marketing campaign, which he did, and to this day we believe we gotta eat a big bacon and egg breakfast to be healthy. How about the biggest non-scientific load of crapola, mimetic marketing virus of all, the cholesterol causes heart disease, stupidity that almost everyone, including gullible doctors who should know better, have bought into hook, line, and sinker, that somehow you can be better off by taking a statin drug. Somehow your heart can be better off by taking a pharmaceutical. Never, ever, ever is our biochemistry better by taking a drug. Never. You may be able to hide your symptoms, which are made up, or, or I shouldn't say symptoms are made up. You may be able to hide your metrics, which are made up. You can lower your test scores or raise your test scores, but you aren't going to be better off for taking a drug ever, unless it's a pain pill, and then maybe you just won't have pain. Now, you, you can hide symptoms, obviously. You can mask symptoms, but you're not going to be better off from a health perspective. For women, there's this breast cancer screening scam. We've been talking about estrogen. Well, I'm not, I haven't done, I'm not done talking about estrogen. We've got lots more to say. Breast cancer is an estrogen issue. Breast cancer is a hormone issue. Hormones, as we've been talking about, spe specifically estrogen, are mostly about the digestive system. Estrogen, anyway, is mostly about the digestive system. So you got this breast cancer screening scam started by who else? Mammography companies, companies selling mammograms and mammography machines. And they're also, by the way, the mammography companies are also responsible for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Every October, we got Breast Cancer Awareness Month in case women are not aware of breast cancer. Now, now they can be reminded for 30 days a year. Breast Cancer Awareness Month promotes early detection as a life-saving strategy. You may be surprised to know that it's not a life-saving strategy. In the last 30 years of mammographies, thousands, maybe millions of women have been overdiagnosed, misdiagnosed, and overtreated. All right, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. 
back on the bright side. Thank you for tuning in, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideven.com and pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can order Longevity products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can call 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team, and they can give you the scoop for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money at the same time. Okay, got lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you've got questions about anything we're talking about here today or comment or success story, we love hearing success stories, 844-236-6010 is our number. So before we went to break, we were talking about the breast cancer screening scam over the last 30 years of mammographies, which shoot big bursts of cancer-causing ionizing radiation at your fatty tissue, at the sensitive fatty tissue of the breasts, at a dose, by the way, that equals a 1,000 chest x-rays, all while squeezing the tissue tightly to assure that the whole breast is saturated with this ionizing energy. Over the last 30 years, do you think breast cancer rates have dropped? No, they've not dropped. Breast cancer rates have gone up. And a lot of that, a lot of those breast cancer diagnoses are incorrect. According to Dr. Samuel Epstein, one of the world's top oncologists, the premenopausal breast is highly sensitive to radiation. Each one rad exposure increases breast cancer risk by about 1% with a cumulative 10% increased risk for each breast over a decade screening. Mammographies increase the risk of breast cancer. And mammograms also encourage over-treatment. According to a landmark study that was published in 2012 in the New England Journal of Medicine, 1.3 million women who were overdiagnosed and then presumably treated with drugs and surgeries for tumors that would have gone away on their own or were not clinically significant. That's from the New England Journal of Medicine. 1.3 million women were overdiagnosed and then treated. According to another study published in December 2011, uh, and this is in the British Medical Journal, breast cancer screening may cause women harm, largely due to surgeries, lumpectomies, mastectomies, and other often, this is a quote by the way, often unnecessary interventions, decreasing quality of life from false positive results and unnecessary treatment. There's actually a diagnosis that women will get called stage zero breast cancer. Yes, stage zero breast cancer. Technically, they call that DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. In 2008, DCIS, which is like a lesion, a benign lesion, it's not itself, it's not a malignancy. It's not malignant cancer. It's a, kind of a warning shot. In 2008, DCIS was misdiagnosed as breast cancer in over 70,000 women. DCIS is an abnormal growth of cells within the milk ducts of the breast, and they call it stage zero breast cancer. DCIS is not a malignancy, and the 10-year survival rate is 96 to 98 percent. According to a study published in the journal Medical Oncology, October 2011, at the 40-year follow-up period, 40 percent of DCIS lesions still had no signs of invasiveness. Another study from 2005 in the journal Breast Cancer, they actually thought DCS, this is from the journal Breast Cancer, peer-reviewed, real-deal journal, they said DCIS may be protective against breast cancer. In any case, women with DCIS will not have symptoms and the condition has no clinical relevance. It's like kind of like BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy and PSA tests that are supposed to diagnose prostate cancer in men. And just because you get diagnosed with DCIS or cancer doesn't actually mean you have it. According to a 2006 study, this was by the Susan G. Komen, Susan G. Komen Foundation, 90,000 cases where women were diagnosed with DCIS or invasive breast cancer, in 90,000 cases, they either did not have the disease or they got incorrect treatment due to a pathologist error. So what is it that allows us to fall for these medical frauds that are more about marketing than health, more about marketing than science? It's not the doctor's fault. We can't blame the doctors, most of them. Most physicians, and I know a lot of them, are well-meaning. They're nice people. They're kindly. It's not the drug company's fault or the mammography company's or the testing company's fault. Their job is to make money. Their job is not our health. The job of a testing company, the job of a drug company, the job of a mammography company is to make money. The fact that 
they're in the health business is just an aside. That happens to be the business they're in. But they're not there to take care of us. Their job is to make money. The CEOs and the board of directors who make the decisions have fiduciary responsibilities to their shareholders first and foremost. It's not their fault. The fault is in our own trust of these so-called authorities combined with our own ignorance about how our bodies work and what we need to be aware of. One thing that is important when it comes to breast cancer and prostate cancer and uterine cancer and reproductive diseases of all kinds, endometriosis and PCOS, one thing that is important in addition to inflammation and fibrosis and other aspects of bodily breakdown is what we've been talking about for the last few days, and that is the family of hormones called estrogen, which in certain forms is absolutely linked to reproductive issues, immune issues, inflammatory issues, as well as the health of the connective tissue. Estrogens are growth hormones and they're involved in the stress response. On our last program we talked about the three main estrogens and it's very important to recognize this link because of the stress response and the inflammatory response to these three main estrogens because some are worse than others. The three main forms, the three main estrogen forms in the body are estradiol, estrone, and estriol. These are shapes. In other words, estrogen is made up of a bunch of little pieces and how these pieces are put together give these estrogens different characteristics. That's all chemistry really is, it's just shapes, tinker toys. I like to think of tinker toy shapes. The basic fundamental shape of biological estrogens is shared by zillions, well not zillions, but thousands of different chemicals in the natural world as well as, in the synth as, well as the synthesized estrogens, artificially synthesized estrogens. Most of you have heard of something called BPA. That's one of the most famous of these non-human estrogens, xenoestrogens they call them, xeno meaning foreign. So last program, or last couple programs, we've been talking about the three main estrogens, estradiol, estriol, and estrone. Estradiol, that's the estrogen of youth and fertility and also cancer, unfortunately. Estrone is menopausal estrogen. And then we started talking about estriol, which is placental or pregnancy estrogen. This is the estrogen that's associated with fetal health. Its main role is the growth of the fetus, but it still has other effects. It's the weakest of the estrogens, it's 8% as potent as estradiol, 14% as potent as estrone, it's made in the liver. It's thought to be protective against cancers. Estradiol is your cancer-causing estrogen. Estriol is thought to be protective against cancer. Still, there are some uh, practitioners who, well, estriol is, just put it this way, estriol is probably the, the uh, estrogen that uh, is, you're going to use in HRT. It's probably the safest estrogen to use in HRT, although it can get converted into toxic metabolites. And some of these toxic metabolites themselves can be, can be uh, associated with, with cancer, cervical cancer in particular. That's why all hormone replacement is problematic. I mean, if you're gonna do hormone replacement, estriol is probably your best bet. According to Life Extension, estriol can help relieve menopausal symptoms. It may have some benefits for bone health, but still, you're playing with fire. If you put any of these artificial or exogenous external estrogens into your body, in my opinion. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lots more to say here about estrogen and hormone replacement therapy. But we'll do that on a coming episode. Next, we get to your phone calls, 844-236-6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls in just a moment, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or business or formulations or ingredients or skin health questions or a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that, 844 844- 236-6010 is our number on the bright side. From the American Academy of Dermatology, don't believe everything you read on skincare product labels. Oh my God, that is so true, you guys. We, you know, we're, human beings are just trusting. We trust. We read the ingredient decks and we just assume everything is right. No, there's all kinds of silliness on uh, skincare product labels and there's all kinds of fraudulent ingredient decks too. Just because something says fragrance free, 
doesn't mean that it's necessarily fragrance free. It may contain fragrance chemicals that are not in that are not uh, in the product because of the fragrance. So they can say it's fragrance free, but there could still be fragrance chemicals. The term unscented also doesn't indicate that a product is fragrance, uh, fragrance free. Unscented can describe products that use fragrance chemicals to mask other strong smells. So just because it's unscented, maybe it doesn't have a scent, but it could still have fragrance chemicals in there that are masking things. You gotta be really careful with your skin health products, if skincare products, in my opinion, Putting preservatives on your skin is a bad idea. Putting fragrances on your skin is a bad idea. Putting emulsifiers on your skin is a bad idea. Can you do stuff with skin health, with topical skin care? Yes, you can, but you gotta have vitamins. You gotta have a way of getting those vitamins in the skin. And you don't want to put things on your skin that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. And surprise, surprise, well over 90% of most skincare products are ingredients that your skin has that have nothing to do with the health of your skin. They're just there so you can get, so that somebody can sell you a product. From the American Academy of Optometry, this is from the March issue of Optometry and Vision Science, assessing the impact of stress in age-related macular degeneration. This is the leading cause of vision loss in older adults in the United States and it is associated with psychological stress. No surprise there, all health challenges do have an aspect of cortisol and psychological and physiologic stress as well. A lot of times when we think about stress, we think about psychological stress, but we don't factor in physiologic stress. Blood sugar represents physiologic stress. Inflammation from a digestive toxicity, for example, represents physiologic stress. And of course, psychological stresses are involved too. It's all about the hormone cortisol, which slows down healing, increases inflammation, and now, according to this article, is associated with age-related macular degeneration. Let's see if there's anything else here. A couple good, oh, here's a good one. Tips for a good night's sleep. Focus on good times, breathe deeply, get a foot massage. I've been saying this for years. If you have a sleep issue, if you have insomnia, if you have anxiety, if you have any psychological stress issues, activate the parasympathetic nervous system. That's what this is about. They call it tips for a good night's sleep, focusing on good times, breathe deeply, get a foot massage. But what they're really saying is activate the parasympathetic nervous system. They also talk about progressive muscle relaxation, or PMR as it's called. And this is a quote from, uh, who said, uh, this is a quote, I don't know who's saying this here, but the progressive, progressive, uh, progressive muscle relaxation, quote, has been used as an insomnia treatment for many years. Again, PMR activates the parasympathetic nervous system. You don't have to have a sleep problem to, ben to benefit from progressive muscle relaxation. That's where you start with your toes and work your, your way up your feet and your ankles and your, and your uh, hamstrings and, your, and your, uh, your calves and shins and you can just work your way up your body to your belly, the core of your body, your back, your arms, and just progressively relax all of the parts of your body. Activates the parasympathetic nervous system and you don't have to have a sleep problem to benefit from these kinds of strategies. It's just a great thing to do for anti-aging. It's a great thing to do to lower your blood pressure. It's a great thing to do to stabilize your blood sugar. It's a great thing to do to improve creativity. The parasympathetic nervous system, your body's rest and digest nervous system needs to be activated constantly consciously and volitionally if we are going to leverage the body's extremely powerful healing and anti-aging and immune boosting properties. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to John in Michigan. Good morning, John. How you doing? Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Thank you for all you do. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you were talking about estrogen. Uh, I know a young lady who has hair on her back that she has to have shaved off. Is okay. that something to do with the hormones? Yeah, absolutely it is. That has to do with male hormones and testosterone, and a lot of times it has to do with insulin and blood sugar. It sounds like a condition called PCOS, or it may involve a condition called PCOS, also known as polycystic ovarian syndrome. That is when excesses in various hormones, particularly in, in testosterone, also in the hormone insulin, can cause women to have male, to exhibit male symptoms like hair on the back or hair on the face or right. uh, sometimes acne or oily skin. 
skin or hair loss on the head. All these are part of what's called PCOS and involves excess insulin, excess testosterone, and also excess of estrogen. So it can be associated with all kinds of horrible reproductive and, and menstrual problems as well as androgenic or male hormone problems as well. What you deal with that is you lower your blood sugar first and foremost and make sure you're stabilizing your insulin by using all the digestive health strategies we talk about on this program. If you have a, an estrogen issue, work on your digestive system, especially how you process fats. And that means using fatty nutrients like essential fatty acids and fatty vitamins and then using digestive enzymes to help your body process fats, apple cider vinegar with your meals, and most importantly perhaps, probiotics and fermented foods. There's a major relationship between estrogen metabolism and good bacteria in the gut. And then also probably you want to do some liver stuff and make sure you're using bile salts and perhaps lecithin uh, to help your body absorb fats uh, along with apple cider vinegar with all your meals. Is that, yeah. was that your question? Or did no, you have something question, else? Real quick is I have two uh, 80, ladies in their 80s. One has itchy eyes, scratchy eyes, she has to constantly put fluid in. And then the other one has macular degeneration, which you addressed earlier. Yeah, I was talking about the stress connection, uh, cortisol, so relaxing the body is important. If there's any inflammatory issues or any other health conditions that cause an increase in cortisol or spike in cortisol, those need to be addressed. Um, a couple of things for macular degeneration and for dry, itchy eyes for that matter. First of all, fats are extremely important. Uh, dry eyes always should be considered as an essential fatty acid and perhaps fatty vitamin issue as well. Get her on the ultimate EFAs. Make sure she's using vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day, probably Vitamin E would help, uh, 400 international units a day of vitamin E. Zinc is very important for the eyes, 50 milligrams a day. I like zinc picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E, picolinate. Selenium plays a very important role in the eyes, in eye health. Here's a very interesting, and we talk about this on the program a lot, but you don't hear anybody else talking about it. There's a very important relationship between the digestive system and the eyes. Why? Well, because nutrients that help make the eyes strong and help heal the eyes and help produce fluids in the eyes or tears in the eyes are fatty. And as we get older, especially as women get older, we don't, we don't absorb or, or digest our fats as effectively. And this is especially true about the pigments that are found in vegetables. Pigments are very protective for, uh, uh, from the sun, pr provide the eyes with uh, protection from the sun. Reds and blues and greens that you get from veggies, they also protect the skin from the sun. However, they're fatty. And if you got a gallbladder problem or you're not digesting your, your fats correctly, you're not making enough bile, or you got a liver problem, intestinal problem, you will not be absorbing your pigments. And that, could, uh, that can cause all kinds of eye problems. Hang on, I'm going to tell you how you address that issue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls in just a moment. 844-236-6010 if you have questions about the longevity products or business or formulations or ingredients or skin health questions or a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. From the American Academy of Dermatology. Don't believe everything you read on skincare product labels. Oh my God, that is so true, you guys. We, you know, we're, human beings are just trusting. We trust. We read the ingredient decks and we just assume everything is right. No, there's all kinds of silliness on uh, skincare product labels, and there's all kinds of fraudulent ingredient decks too. Just because something says fragrance-free doesn't mean that it's necessarily fragrance-free. It may contain fragrance chemicals that are not in that are not uh, uh, in the product because of the fragrance. So they can say it's fragrance-free, but there could still be fragrance chemicals. The term unscented also doesn't indicate that a product is fragrance-free. Uh, fragrance unscented can describe products that use fragrance chemicals to mask other strong smells. So just because it's unscented, maybe it doesn't have a scent, but it could still have fragrance chemicals in there that are masking things. You gotta be really careful with your skin health products, if skincare products, in my opinion, Putting preservatives on your skin is a bad idea. Putting fragrances on your skin is a bad idea. Putting emulsifiers on your skin is a bad idea. 
Can you do stuff with skin health, with topical skin care? Yes, you can, but you got to have vitamins. You got to have a way of getting those vitamins in the skin. And you don't want to put things on your skin that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. And surprise, surprise, well over 90% of most skincare products are ingredients that your skin has that have nothing to do with the health of your skin. They're just there so you can get so that somebody can sell you a product. From the American Academy of Optometry, this is from the March issue of Optometry and Vision Science, assessing the impact of stress in age-related macular degeneration. This is the leading cause of vision loss in older adults in the United States. And and it is associated with psychological stress. No surprise there, all health challenges do have an aspect of cortisol and psychological and physiologic stress as well. A lot of times when we think about stress, we think about psychological stress, but we don't factor in physiologic stress. Blood sugar represents physiologic stress. Inflammation from a digestive toxicity, for example, represents physiologic stress. And of course, psychological stresses are involved too. It's all about the hormone cortisol, which slows down healing increases inflammation, and now, according to this article, is associated with age-related macular degeneration. Let's see if there's anything else here. A couple good, oh, here's a good one. Tips for a good night's sleep. Focus on good times, breathe deeply, get a foot massage. I've been saying this for years. If you have a sleep issue, if you have insomnia, if you have anxiety, if you have any psychological stress issues, activate the parasympathetic nervous system. That's what this is about. They call it tips for a good night's sleep, focusing on good times, breathe deeply, get a foot massage. But what they're really saying is activate the parasympathetic nervous system. They also talk about progressive muscle relaxation, or PMR as it's called. And this is a quote from, uh, who said, uh, this is a quote, I don't know who's saying this here, but the progressive, progressive, uh, progressive muscle relaxation, quote, has been used as an insomnia treatment for many years. Again, PMR activates the parasympathetic nervous system. You don't have to have a sleep problem to, ben to benefit from progressive muscle relaxation. That's where you start with your toes and work your, your way up your feet and your ankles and your, and your uh, hamstrings and, your, and your, uh, your calves and shins and you can just work your way up your body to your belly, the core of your body, your back, your arms, and just progressively relax all of the parts of your body. Activates the parasympathetic nervous system, and you don't have to have a sleep problem to benefit from these kinds of strategies. It's just a great thing to do for anti-aging. It's a great thing to do to lower your blood pressure. It's a great thing to do to stabilize your blood sugar. It's a great thing to do to improve creativity. The parasympathetic nervous system, your body's rest and digest nervous system, needs to be activated constantly consciously and volitionally if we are going to leverage the body's extremely powerful healing and anti-aging and immune boosting properties. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to John in Michigan. Good morning, John. How you doing? Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Thank you for all you do. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you were talking about estrogen. Uh, I know a young lady who has hair on her back that she has to have shaved off. Is okay. that something to do with the hormones? Yeah, absolutely it is. That has to do with male hormones and testosterone, and a lot of times it has to do with insulin and blood sugar. It sounds like a condition called PCOS, or it may involve a condition called PCOS, also known as polycystic ovarian syndrome. That is when excesses in various hormones, particularly in, in testosterone, also in the hormone insulin, can cause women to have male to exhibit male symptoms like hair on the back or hair on the face or right. uh, sometimes acne or oily skin or hair loss on the head. All of these are part of what's called PCOS and involves excess insulin, excess testosterone, and also excess of estrogen. So it can be associated with all kinds of horrible reproductive and, and menstrual problems as well as androgenic or male hormone problems as well. The way you deal with that is you lower your blood sugar first and foremost and make sure you're stabilizing your insulin by using all the digestive health strategies we talk about on this program. If you have a, an estrogen issue, work on your digestive system, especially how you process fats. And that means using fatty nutrients like essential fatty acids and fatty vitamins and then using digestive enzymes to help your body process fats, apple cider vinegar with your meals, and most importantly perhaps, probiotics and fermented foods. There's a major relationship between estrogen metabolism and good bacteria in the gut. And then also probably you want to do some liver stuff and make sure you're using bile salts and perhaps lecithin uh, to help your body absorb fats along with apple cider vinegar with all your meals. Is that, was that your question? 
Or did no, you have something question, else? Real quick is I have two uh, 80, it, ladies in their 80s. One has itchy eyes, scratchy eyes. She has to constantly put fluid in. And then the other one has macular degeneration, which you addressed earlier. Yeah, I was talking about the stress connection, uh, cortisol, so relaxing the body is important. If there's any inflammatory issues or any other health conditions that cause an increase in cortisol or spike in cortisol, those need to be addressed. Um, a couple of things for macular degeneration and for dry itchy eyes for that matter. First of all, fats are extremely important. Uh, dry eyes always should be considered as an essential fatty acid and perhaps fatty vitamin issue as well. Get her on the ultimate EFAs. Make sure she's using vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day, probably Vitamin E would help, uh, 400 international units a day of vitamin E. Zinc is very important for the eyes, 50 milligrams a day. I like zinc picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E, picolinate. Selenium plays a very important role in the eyes, in eye health. Here's a very interesting, and we talk about this on the program a lot, but you don't hear anybody else talking about it. There's a very important relationship between the digestive system and the eyes. Why? Well, because nutrients that help make the eyes strong and help heal the eyes and help produce fluids in the eyes or tears in the eyes are fatty. And as we get older, especially as women get older, we don't, we don't absorb or, or digest our fats as effectively. And this is especially true about the pigments that are found in vegetables. Pigments are very protective for, uh, uh, from the sun, pr provide the eyes with uh, protection from the sun. Reds and blues and greens that you get from veggies, they also protect the skin from the sun. However, they're fatty. And if you got a gallbladder problem or you're not digesting your, your fats correctly, you're not making enough bile, or you got a liver problem, intestinal problem, you will not be absorbing your pigments. And that, could, uh, that can cause all kinds of eye problems. Hang on, I'm going to tell you how you address that issue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. In these uncertain times, it makes sense to have a sustainable backup method to cook food and boil water. If your current plan includes using a fuel-burning stove or cooking over an open fire, then there's a much better way. The Minuteman Rocket Stove is a biomass-burning cooking stove that only requires small quantities of sticks and twigs for fuel. The Minuteman Stove is easy to use, smokeless, portable, powerful, and sustainable. For the finest in survival cooking stoves and fire starters made right here in the USA, go to MinutemanStove.com. That's MinutemanStove.com. For P150, P150 GA, P150 NY, P150 OK, P150 TN, C250 A, C250 E, C250 Q. Not available in all states. If New York or Colorado, call for a similar offer. What's the scariest thing about going to the dentist? Opening your mouth or opening your wallet? Because just a simple cleaning can cost $100, and things like root canals can cost you hundreds more. If you don't have dental insurance to help, call Physicians Mutual Insurance Company, 1-800-972-5856. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps pay for checkups right away. So you can call today and get your teeth cleaned tomorrow. Plus, it helps cover the more expensive procedures you might need down the road. Fillings, crowns, bridges, even costly dentures. There's no deductible and no annual maximum. Your acceptance is guaranteed for one of these insurance policies, even if you're retired. There are no networks, so you can choose any dentist you'd like. Call now for a free information kit with all the details. 1-800-972-5856. That's 1-800-972-5856. 5856 1-800-972-5856 You've heard the phrase, you are what you eat? Not true. Actually, you are what you can absorb. So if the vitamins and supplements you now take are not being absorbed, what good are they? Introducing Protovite, proprietary liquid system that allows premium quality nutrients to positively affect the blood in an astonishing five minutes. Watch our amazing two-minute live blood cell video at TrueHealthFacts.com. That's TrueHealthFacts.com. Then call 502-410-3411. Protovite is nutrition you can feel. Protovite is nutrition that gets in. Looking for that edge during those intimate moments? We see many ads for enhancement, but the side effects include death. At GCN Team, we should change the Healthy Body Brain and Heart Pack to the Healthy Libido Pack. The brain and heart are not the only organs that require a healthy vascular system. For proper blood flow at the right moment, go to GCNTeam.com or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. Have you checked your Google search results lately? Search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business. So make sure that they create a positive impression with ReputationDefender.com. What the Internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood, even if it's not true. Fortunately, you can now control how you look online and in online search results with ReputationDefender.com. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771 for your free reputation. 
reputation analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with ReputationDefender.com. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 to learn more. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com. Do you know what's lurking in your water? More than 200 contaminants could be sitting there just waiting for your glass. With a ProPure water filter, start enjoying clean and great tasting water today. ProPure filters, independently tested, latest water filter technology. ProPure systems do not require electricity and are easy to set up and easy to use. To find out more, visit your authorized ProPure dealer or ProPureUSA.com. That's P-R-O-P-U-R-U-S-A.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to John in Michigan about macular degeneration. So uh, for macular degeneration, John, focus on fats and minerals that are absorbed or, or, or taken into the blood through the fatty system of the body. This is very important. Zinc and selenium, magnesium, calcium, they require bile and they require a healthy intestine. You got to have stomach acid going on. So a lot of things that have to, a lot of uh, biochemistry that has to be working correctly to absorb your minerals as well as your fats. And this is why using strategies to improve fat absorption are extremely important. Before we went to break, we talked about pigments, blues and reds, yellows and greens. These come from vegetables. When you eat a vegetable, what happens is, or a fruit for that matter, if it has a pigment, if you eat, if you eat the peel part of the fruit, uh, the pigment from the fruit or from the vegetable goes into the blood, goes through the digestive system and into the bloodstream, and then those pigments are deposited in the skin to protect your skin from burning uh, from the sun, from ultraviolet radiation, and to protect your eyes. So what you want to do is, uh, as we're getting older, or if you have some kind of fat malabsorption issue, and many of us do, is when you eat your vegetables or you eat your fruits, try to try to uh, mix them up with a little bit of oil or even a little bit of heat plus oil, butter or coconut oil uh, with your veggies or even fruits sometimes if you could do it that way or grind up your vegetables in a, in a, uh, in, in a Vitamix or in a food processor. Somehow uh, release the, vet, the pigments and release the fatty material so that when you're using, when you're eating them, your body will be able to use those pigments. Of course, if you use apple cider vinegar with your meals, that will help. And also, as I was saying before, to break probiotics, there's a very important role between good bacteria and the gut and uh, bile, a uh, relationship between probiotics and bile. So using probiotic supplements can help as well. Focus on the digestive system, especially when it comes to fat absorption. Make sure you're, use, you're using pigments, vitamin E, vitamin A, zinc, and selenium. Also, N-acetylcysteine, or NAC, plays a very important role in eye health. And then the uh, amino acid taurine, T-A-U-R-I-N-E, is very important for all electrical conduction issues. Of course, the eyes are electrical transducers that turn light energy into electrical energy and so uh, anything you can do to support uh, electricity or the movement of electricity in the body or the the uh, the flow of electrical energy in the eyes and in the body will benefit from taurine supplementation that goes for the heart also that's why you see uh, taurine in Red Bull and energy drinks because it helps dampen electrical energy that can be uh, that can be enhanced by caffeine types type drinks taurine is also very helpful for folks dealing with epilepsy or seizure disorders as well. Does that help, John? Ben, does kefir, kefir and sauerkraut, does that uh, benefit the... Uh... Sauerkraut, sauerkraut is way better than kefir, but yeah, kefir has, for me, as long as there's live cultures in there, that those can help too. Okay, all right. Thank okay, you. thanks so much, John. Appreciate your call, bro. All right, let's go to Chris in Texas. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Chris. Hey, good talk to you again, Ben. Just wanted to uh, say that on one of your previous programs, you said that levothyroxine or Synthroid, you know, levothyroxine being the right. generic form of Synthroid, that's like the number one drug. I could definitely understand that because everybody in my family and everybody I know has thyroid issues. <laughs> and, I mean, I, I haven't gotten on this thyroid drug yet, and I don't want to. Uh, I, I'd just like you to discuss more about that. 
Yeah, let's talk about that. Levothyroxine, also known as synth Synthroid, that's the fa most famous one, but there's other ones. It's like, I think it's the number five, or it's, it's in the top ten best-selling drugs. And as you say, Chris, almost everybody has a thyroid problem. So why is it that we all have thyroid problems? Why is it that we need to be on Synthroid? Which, by the way, Synthroid is the wrong form of thyroid hormone. And, oh, by the way, if you've got a thyroid problem, that doesn't necessarily mean that thyroid hormone is going to make a wits bit of difference in the gland. The most common reason why people have hypothyroidism is because of something called Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system attacks the thyroid. Autoimmune diseases always have to be backtracked to the digestive system. Toxins getting into the blood, initiating an immune response, which can then affect the glands. So, is it a surprise that we all have, di that so many of us have digestive health issues? Look at what we're eating. First of all, we're eating way too much, way more calories than the body can handle. And then look at the foods that we're eating. Most of us are, are subsisting on processed foods. Most of us are not getting good bacteria, and we're drinking chlorinated water, and we're eating antibiotic-laced meat and, meat and dairy, killing off the good bacteria. It should be no surprise that we have uh, an epidemic of digestive health issues, and thus, we have an epidemic of autoimmune disease and thus we have an epidemic of autoimmune diseases of the thyroid, which is what the major cause of hypothyroidism is. Hashimoto's uh, hypothyroidism. Levothyroxine is not going to help that. Synthroid isn't going to help. In the world of pharmacy, we know, pharmacists know that Synthroid is one of the most useless medications you could ever take. And that's why everybody's dose has to keep going up. Synthroid is not the answer to hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is caused by dirty blood, the same thing that causes all other health challenges, dirty blood. Clean the blood. That means work on the digestive system. Also, there's a relationship between stress hormone and hypothyroidism. When stress hormone goes up, eventually hypothyroidism will ensue. The thyroid will slow down. When estrogen levels go up, the thyroid will eventually slow down. There you have the three biggest problems when it comes to uh, hypothyroidism. Digestion estrogen, cortisol, and really it all boils down to the digestive system anyway. So work on your digestive system. Use probiotics. By the way, good bacteria turn inactive thyroid hormone into active thyroid hormone. So-called T4, which is Synthroid, is inactive thyroid hormone. Uh, it gets turned on. T4 gets turned on or activated by good bacteria in the gut. Yet another reason to focus on digestive health when it comes to uh, thyro uh, hypothyroidism. Health is simple. This is the bottom line you guys. Do you notice that everything involves the digestive system? Everything when it comes to health challenges. This is so simple. You don't have to worry about the gland. You don't have to worry about the thyroid. You don't have to worry about the autoimmune issues. Focus on the digestive tract. Focus on the foods you're eating. Fasting. Do a food diary. Use probiotics. Apple cider vinegar with your meals. Grind up your foods. Use fiber. Smoothies. Vegetable juices. Uh, bone soup. Cartilage containing products. High Hyaluronic acid, glutamine, zinc. It's almost endless, the, all the ways that you can focus on digestive health. And it's almost endless, all the ways digestive health implicates or impacts the rest of the body. Focus on the digestive system. That's the bottom line, Chris. All right, man? All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks, Chris. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Let's move on to California and welcome Tommy to the bright side. Good morning, Tommy. Hello. Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. What's going on, bro? Okay. Uh, I need some help for my 10-year-old. I heard about you. They told me that you are the, uh, the drugless pharmacist. I'm the drugless pharmacist. And, uh, I like that. Your 10-year-old, yeah. you said boy, 10-year-old boy? My daughter, she's 10. She's, um, she's developing acne on her forehead and her back. Okay. Get her on. A, let me tell you a couple things. First of all, is she lean? Is she built lean? Yes, yes. Okay. That's pretty classic. That's uh, androgenic acne. It's a little bit early to have it, but there's a couple of things that you're going to want to do. First of all, you got to get her sugar under control. There's a very important relationship between insulin, your sugar hormone, and male hormone. Now, she's a girl, obviously, but she's still making male hormone, and the way she's built, she's probably on the, she's making a little bit more male hormone. She's androgenic, we'll say. I don't know if it's more than female hormone, but there's, the male hormones are not getting processed 
process correctly and there's a lot of male hormone going on, a male hormone secretion going on. So you want to focus on male hormone first, stabilize the insulin by getting her off of sugar as best as possible, and that means cereals and breads and pastas and processed foods. That alone will make a huge difference. Uh, the second thing is uh, when it comes to uh, insulin and it comes to blood sugar is get her off of milk and dairy. Milk and dairy are a source of sugar and this is one of the reasons why uh, milk is such a problematic food when it comes to acne. There's other reasons as well. You know, we got a we got a bad connection here, Tommy. Tommy, are you there, man? Yeah, I'm I can hear you. Yes. Uh, okay, guys, I can't. There was some kind of weird noise there. Anyway, focus on sugar, whether it's in, the, in dairy or whether it's in cereals or bread, certainly candies and cakes and pasta and, 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 uh, and dessert kinds of foods are a problem also. Pasta also is a problem for that matter. If she has digestive issues, you want to correct those by eliminating problem foods. And then there's a whole slew of nutrients that are wonderful for dealing with acne. And they also, by the way, are important for helping control blood sugar. Zinc, primarily, as I was mentioning. 50, uh, how, how much is your kid weigh? How much does she weigh? Uh, she, she's about, I would say, 95 pounds. 90. See if you can get her 25 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. 25 or 20 or 25 milligrams. You can you can get that dose a little bit higher. Also, selenium can be helpful for her. Uh, essential fatty acids are also important. Does she, does she have her period yet? No, not yet. Where do I okay. get the zinc and, and selenium? All of these are available in health food stores. All available in health, health food stores. Get her on the ultimate EFAs from Longevity. You know what, Tommy? We're out of time, but I want to help you. Send me an email. Email ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there, and I'm going to call you directly, and I'll work with you uh, personally, okay? I apologize because we're just out of time. All right, you guys, that's it for the Bright Side today. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about estrogen and connective tissue and strategies for helping balance out estrogen. If, uh, give uh, give the Brightside Ben phone team a call if you want to join the Longevity team. 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470 is their number. That's it. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular, awesome day. We'll talk to you all later.